Hi, this is Ghost, and welcome back to a bit more Battlefield 3. And today we have got you a bit of every map, I think. I've got the back to Carkland here, a bit of Armoured Kill, and a bit of um, Endgame. And I think maybe some standard ones as well. And this is just basically a little, uh, l like a little chopper mini Taj um, of just me sort of learning to fly the choppers, learning to get a bit better with the TV guided rockets and things. And those sort of were the clips I managed to ascertain. Now, I think this is about the only clip I don't use the TV guided rocket in. And uh, I think my pilot had the laser painter on the front of the helicopter, so he was locking on to all the other things so you can fire the guided rockets, which is actually a really good combination. I don't find the guided rockets that great, though. They take ages to fire. Literally, ages. They don't seem to go, and I don't, I don't understand quite the logic of it. You don't get that many kills with it. And the TV guided rocket is a lot better once you've got the hang of how to fire it. I'm still learning. I've, I, it, it's very difficult to use the TV guided rocket on the um, Xbox because the controller it, it's a bit more challenging. From what I remember, on the um, uh, from the TV guided rocket on uh, Battlefield 2 when I used to use it on the PC all the time, you kind of were you were you were golden. It was it was quite a lot easier to control. I think also the movement's a bit more sluggish. I, I can't remember exactly because I haven't played Battlefield 2 in yonks. I was really happy with this shot. I was waiting for another person to get in the helicopter with me. Because when you're flying with one person, you're always flying a little bit half-cocked. And I <laughs> managed to hit that. I was just like, I think that was the first chopper I'd actually shot down with the TV got a rocket. I was like, wow. And I got the Air Combat Medal and a, and a dog tag as well. I was like, awesome. I was so happy with that. I just sat there for about 10 minutes going, I can't believe I just hit that. <laughs> Uh, and then I think this was the first jet kill I got. <laughs> it was just the guy just flew straight at us. Never fly straight at a chopper with a jet. It's just dumb. I know you've probably, to be honest, you're probably at a bigger advantage in the jet over the choppers, especially in air-to-air -air combat. Um, but don't fly straight at them. I'd, I'd never found in Battlefield 2 that every, any jet pilot flew straight at choppers. I think it was mainly down to the fact that if you flew straight at a chopper, you ended up dying because everyone had the TV go to rockets and you pretty much just had to fire them straight. I did feel quite bad about this shot, and there was one later where I did shoot them off the pad. But it was a long ass range shot, and I was pretty pleased with that one. Uh, it wasn't a bad sh It was a pretty good shot, so I, I can't be 100% disappointed with that. One thing I am slightly disappointed with is that they changed the... Um, uh, the TV guided rockets slightly from Battlefield 2 is they have to take two TV guided rockets to shoot down a um, to shoot down a tank, which I I was kind of annoyed about because I'm still haven't managed to unlock the, um, the little dog tag for 25 main battle tanks destroyed. I think I'm on about 15 or something, and it it's really difficult to destroy them. They've got so much health to the to the choppers. And I was expecting when I got on the TV got a rocket, I was like, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to go to town now. And it, they're not easy to use. They, they're a lot, um, the turning speed's quite low on them and, and sort of other things. They're quite difficult to control. But I'm getting the hang of it slowly. And I'm sure maybe I'll, I'll pull off some better shots as I get a bit more used to it. I'm definitely going to buy myself a, or hopefully, I say definitely. If I have the money, I will try and buy myself a new PC for when Battlefield 4 comes out. I really do want to play that on the PC rather than on the Xbox again. Mainly for the fact, um, not down to the controls for the helicopters and things, but mainly down to the fact that I want it for... Um, uh, for the 64 player, because however much fun it is on the Xbox, you're only playing 24, it's only 24 pe people on the big maps, like Wake Island, which is a massive map, and you've only got 24 people on it, 12 on each team, and it's not really enough. When you've got 64, there is so many more people, and there's just it's a bit more sort of uh, action packed and fast paced. I kind of fire, I kind of find if it's if there's more people, and I, that's why I want to get the PC for that very reason. Um, but we, we shall see if I can actually manage to afford that. Um, a little uh, quick questions for you guys, actually, uh, whilst I remember. Um, I wanted to know what you guys actually like watching in Battlefield, um, if you do <laughs> watching Battlefield or 2. Um, I will go back to it. I, I know most of you are probably Call of Duty fans, and I will still post some Call of Duty. But at the moment, I'm just um, I'm just a bit burnt out on COD. I'm, I'll probably go back when the, when the new map pack comes out. I'll um, hop back on it and probably do a bit more zombies. Maybe try and do a bit more with Richard and Mike if they're up for it. Uh, maybe get some other people in, like Ali or Oakley or someone like that. Um, and I think I might do a couple things with uh, Mr. Dave the Rave if he's uh, uh, if still if he still wants to. Um, here, I generally thought my pilot, um, my gunner was blind. I don't know what was going on. I was just hovering literally over the top of this guy, and he just wouldn't shoot either of them. About blind, blind as a bat. Um, <laughs> he didn't actually, I think, twig on until I actually spotted the guy after I killed the first one. I don't understand what he was doing. But anyway. Um, 
yeah, uh, so if you guys would be up for seeing some zombies, I'll be up for it. I'll be, I want to do that again. Uh, but yeah, uh, as it currently stands, I um, I don't want to play Call of Duty at the moment. I'm just a bit sort of burnt out on it. But with Battlefield, uh, going back to my previous one, what do you like watching? Do you like watching like these little little, little mini titles? They take a while for me to sort of edit all the clips down and cut them up, uh, just so you have the sort of action pace bits. Uh, do you like watching that, or would you prefer watching a whole gameplay, uh, like suggest a class to me, sort of ridiculous class, and try and make me do well with it, or something like that? Um, but yeah, would you prefer to see a whole gameplay? I mean, the whole gameplays tend to last about 10 minutes, so I'd either the live con them, or I wouldn't do them. I maybe do a full game like once a week or something, because doing a 10 minute commentary is quite a uh, lengthy procedure. And I kind of, it's kind of difficult to think of something to say for a whole 10 minutes. So um, let me know, let me know if you'd like to see a whole commentary or whether you like seeing these little clip tages kind of li little clip tagey kind of things. I um, just sort of cut up the game into the the best bits. But anyway, um, if you could let me know that, um, and yeah, that that would be hugely appreciated. Um, also, if you want to try and play a bit of Battlefield with me, that's uh, what I'm playing mostly at, most of the time at the moment. If not, I'm playing a bit of Borderlands 2 with the new uh, level cap. Uh, send me a message on Xbox saying you want to play one of those two and I'll um, invite you into one of my sessions. Anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I shall see you on the next video. Thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now. Bye.